What is up everyone? As you probably saw, I didn't talk earlier in the video and it was because that when I woke up I didn't feel like much talking I was sleepy and yeah, you know, just I didn't want to talk a lot and also when I was outside on the street I wanted to say some things but it's so windy outside today and you would probably hear nothing so I just decided not to talk and record the things that I did earlier today basically I woke up I measured myself as you saw and this is something that I do every freaking morning I measure myself I write down the weight somewhere for example on a paper or in a document on my laptop and this way I can calculate my average weight for the week for example on Sunday I'll do that I'll just check what my weight is for every single day through the week from Monday to Sunday and then I'll just calculate my average weight for the week and I will compare it to the previous ones from the other weeks and this way I can see whether I should make any changes with my calories or not whether I should increase them decrease them or just leave them the same it really depends on your goal of course but yeah this is basically what I do in order to track my average weight for the week if you are making any changes with your calories based on your daily weight I would say that this is wrong because your daily weight might depend on a lot of things for example water intake on the previous day also salt intake sleep uh, food intake and many other things and basically I would say that you should not care that much about your daily weight you should look only at your average weight for the week but of course you have to track yourself every single day in order to calculate this but otherwise don't really get uh, stuck into your daily weights and don't really care much about them don't stress about it so yeah because sometimes it may be really stressful for example when I was cutting sometimes on the next day I was with 2kg more and this doesn't mean that I put fat or something like this because I was in a calorie deficit but my water intake on the previous day was too much for example the salt intake might be too much and yeah I would also say that if you're really serious about your training and nutrition you have to do that you have to track yourself every single day in order to see whether you should make any changes with your calories or not because actually the diet is what makes the changes that is what changes your body composition and you should know that it's not only about training of course you have to train properly but it's not only about training you also have to track your calories your weight and yeah everything and this is what I do it's like my my task you know every single day to do this this is a must if you're serious about your training and nutrition so make sure you do this anyways uh, after I measured myself and I talked so much about measuring myself right now but anyways I think that it will be useful for some of you after I measured myself I made the breakfast then I went out for school I just had to go because we had a lecture about JavaScript we were supposed to have this lecture one week ago or something before we actually have finished our project because we were supposed to use JavaScript in our project but the lecturer was you I guess so we didn't have the lecture we had it now and actually yesterday we had to finish our project the deadline was yesterday so basically this lecture was kind of useless of course it will be useful for the other projects but for this one not really because we already have finished with it however uh, after that we had some free time so I played some League of Legends with my classmates I was so fed up with Draven guys but we lost unfortunately but I don't really care I'm not such a geek about League of Legends so yeah I just play for fun it's already 12 and probably now I'll go to prepare something for lunch and after three hours or maybe four I'll go for workout I have to do legs today just let me show you the weather outside as I told you it's really windy today and it's true but it's also very sunny and I'm really happy because when there is sun <laughs> I'm twice as happy as I would in a normal day you know if I was living in a sunny country I would probably be happy <laughs> most of the time you know like 99% of the time sun does really matter for me I don't know about you but it really matters for me it makes me really happy when there is sun and I really love when the weather is warm what are you laughing at girl? let me show you these random people walking by and they have a dog 
and they have both of them have hats. Nice. Come on, dog. Don't be shy. Yesterday I also recorded the video, but I was in a really bad mood, so probably I will not post it. I'll see. I'll I'll just check on it, and after that I'll decide whether I should upload it or not. But I think that I will not upload it because I was really in a bad mood. I was feeling kind of unmotivated. I don't know why. I think it was because of the weather, because it was rainy, it was cloudy, it was cold, and yeah. As I told you, weather really makes me feel in a certain mood. When it's sunny, I will probably be happy. When it's rainy and cloudy, I will probably be kinda unmotivated, sleepy, and yeah. A lot of people saw that in my Bulgarian videos, I prepare spaghetti with eggs, and everyone was so curious how do I prepare this kind of meal. It's actually super easy, and now I'll show you how to prepare it, because it really takes up to 15 minutes and I believe that everyone can do it, it's not something hard. So basically, I'll use whole grain spaghetti for this kind of meal and also eggs. This will give me enough carbs before my workout, also enough protein and of course some fats from the eggs. And yeah, let's go. So, first off you just have to boil some water and after it starts boiling you just have to add the spaghetti and then wait for approximately 8 to 10 minutes and then you can add the eggs and I'll show it to you how it works but as I said it's super easy so now I'll just wait for the water to boil and then I will add the freaking spaghetti this is special ritual that will make the water to start boiling faster and it actually already started so it's good it's really good I will put 100 grams of whole grain spaghetti and now boil them for 8 to 10 minutes. The water is almost gone. And basically that's what you have to wait for. The water to be gone. And then you have to add the eggs. And that's it. The water is almost gone. And now I will set the temperature to a minimum. And I will add the eggs right now. That's how my meal looks. I added some garlic dressing on the top and also some cucumbers. And I'm gonna enjoy it right now. It's really nice and tasty. And I really assure you, you have to try it out. My sister saw my meal and she went that hungry that she asked me to prepare something similar for her. So I prepared pasta with eggs for her as well. But this pasta contains spinach. And yeah, basically that's it. Almost the same thing, but the pasta is quite different. Right now I'm heading to the gym guys. Basically after I ate my meal I just played the guitar a little bit. Also I did some job on my laptop and that was it. I'm ready to go and hit them legs. I hope that the workout will be fine. Let's see. Hi. Back in the gym. Guys now I want to talk about something that might not be relevant for all of you but I think that it's still a good thing to know. I will talk about how to train when having an injury. As I said, for some of you that might not be the case and you might not care about that but believe me, it's always good to know that just in case it happens. Well, I injured my right knee a few months ago while I was traveling with my sister to Denmark for the first time and I had to carry two big heavy luggages and basically what happened was that I probably stepped wrong somewhere and I started feeling huge pain in my knee but I still kept carrying them because there was no other option and on the next day when I woke up I couldn't even walk because the pain was terrible. It's quite of a shame that this happened outside of the gym but yeah, however time passed and now I'm much better, you can even see me doing legs but I've gone through a lot during this couple of months and I learned some things from that. So I just want to share these things with you guys so that you can implement them into your training in case you have knee injury or knee pain as me. Keep in mind that I'm not a doctor and all of these things that I'll mention is not something that you have to stick to on you know, 100%. These are just basic tips that I'll give you so that you can still train legs with knee injury and just improve your leg workouts when having a knee injury or pain. First off, 
I would say that you have to take a short break from doing legs or any other exercises that might make you feel any kind of pain in your injured knee. During that break, it might be a good idea to visit a professional doctor who will not just tell you, Good morning son, what's the problem? And when you say what the problem is, he will answer, So, you say you feel pain in your knee when you move your leg? Damn boy, then just don't move it. So yeah. Make sure you choose the right doctor because from my experience I've noticed that most of them are just telling you to stop training and lay all day on the bed. Second tip that I will give you is to start training legs after your knee feels better even though you might have a bit of a pain. In my opinion leaving the problem on the side is not a solution, you have to make something in order to solve it. In this case I think that when you train legs you improve your blood circulation around the injured part and this way you will recover faster because the blood brings a lot of minerals and vitamins with itself that will help you to solve the problem faster. Of course, you have to pick suitable exercises that will not cause you further damage, you should also warm up really well before your actual workout and also you have to decrease the weights on the exercises, which leads me to my next point, leave your ego at the door of the gym because probably your ego was what caused your injury. Most of the time injuries happen because of improper form, so make sure that you decrease the weights drastically on the exercises that you choose and do them with perfect form, slow, controlled, with perfect form and also work on that mind-muscle connection. My last tip will be about the exercise selection because I believe that this is really important when you have an injury. What I've learned from this time that I have the injury is that when you're having an injury you should focus on exercises that you can do with each leg separately. For example, Bulgarian squats, lunges, single leg press, single leg extensions and so on and so on. I didn't mention exercises for hamstrings because probably you would not have any problems with doing them even when done with two legs at the same time but for the rest of the exercises that involve both of the quads at the same time like back squats hack squats front squats normal leg press and etc I would say that these exercises are not the best option because it's very likely for you to lose your mind muscle connection with the injured leg if you keep doing them constantly because your other leg will just do most of the work during these exercises which will also cause you imbalance between your legs. The injured leg will probably become smaller than the other one and would be really bad if this becomes visible. So that's why I will suggest you to pick exercises that you can do with each leg separately so that you can still keep that mind muscle connection on point or even improve it which will also help you to recover faster so basically that's what I wanted to say I really hope that it was interesting for most of you guys keep watching till the rest of the video That's my post-workout meal guys, I put 200 grams of yogurt, 1 scoop of protein powder by my protein, 50 grams of oats, 1 banana and this chocolate powder, it's really nice, usually it's not <laughs> supposed to be used for this kind of stuff, it's for cakes but yeah, this is what Camille gave me for my birthday and we were thinking that there is cake inside but actually this is just the powder for the cake so now I'm using it for my post-workout meals because it makes the taste of it really nice these are my macros for the moment I need to get 450 grams of carbs 90 grams of fats and 250 grams of proteins as you can see I keep my protein intake high but it's just because I love to eat food that it's high in protein for example like meat, eggs, yogurt and other stuff like this there is nothing magical about eating that much protein 
I would say that one gram of protein per one pound of body weight is completely enough for you guys but of course if you like to eat food that is high in protein for example like me then you can do that it's not a problem high protein diet will not cause you any damage of course you have to decrease the calories from the other micronutrients but I think it's fine just do whatever the heck you want to do I will not say fuck because no it's not mm, some chocolate for me no should I take some? Of course I'll take some flexible dieting baby. This will be my more serious meal after training. I put 500 grams of potatoes and 250 grams of chicken breast. I'll put them into the oven and I'll just bake them for 30 to 40 minutes and that's pretty much it. Okay guys, so I'm gonna wrap up this vlog here. I really hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please make sure you leave a thumb up comment down below and also subscribe for my channel if you still haven't done this so yeah that's it for this video guys thank you so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video peace